Hello everybody, um, welcome to another knife overview. This time I've kind of got a more inexpensive knife to show you today. That is the Kershaw Oh So Sweet. Alright, so I'm just going to hop into this overview. The materials on this knife is 8CR13 MOV, uh, an 8CR13 MOV blade with Zytel or Efron, FRN handles. 8CR13 MOV, if you're getting into a knife that's sub, probably like sub 50 or $60, it's probably going to be in either 8CR or OS 8. I mean, it's a decent steel. It's not crap. Um, you know, it's nothing compared to a lot of the modern steels out there, uh, like CTS, B75P, S35VN, LMAX, M390, all of those steels. This doesn't compare. But it's not like the steel you'd get in gas station knives. It gets, it takes a pretty nice edge. It gets pretty sharp. Nothing crazy. Nothing uh, worth noting there. It will rust, so keep that in mind. It uh, has Zytel handles. Um, I don't really like the feel of of plastic FRN Zytel handles, or the sound it makes. Just sounds cheap to me. Uh, it has a Zytel backspacer as well. It's jimped and adds no traction, but you don't really need any. And this uh, sub three and a half inch knife. I guess I'll do a size comparison real quick. Here is the GEC 47. Line those up there. Here is the Hinder XM18 three inch. It's very similar to the 3 inch, almost identical blade length. The Oso oh Sweet is just a hair longer, and it is longer than the uh, 47, which I believe this knife is also the same size as the 71 Sodbuster. So if you have that knife, uh, then you'll, it's pretty close to this size. It is constructed with the uh, Speed Safe. You see it right there, Kershaw Speed Safe. Uh, it's that, that's just a spring assist system, and it's the same system you get on higher end Kershaws like this blur. You see right there, it says Speed Safe. <clears throat> I'm not a fan of spring assist knives anymore at all. Typically, if a knife is spring assist, I won't buy it, even if that's the only qualm I have, just because over time the spring might wear out. And a lot of these spring assist knives rely on the spring for the detent. And so without the spring, then you have a knife blade that can fall out of the handle. And also, to me, it's just a little cheap to do a spring assist that way. Or to make it spring assist, because then you're not relying on the design and the construction of the knife to make it fly out of the handle. All you need to do is throw a spring in there. So personally, I'm not a huge fan of that. If you are then by all means get a spe uh, spring assist speed safe. It is constructed with a backspacer as I said. Um, the finish on the blade is nothing too special. Satin finish. Machine satin or belt sat satin, whatever you want to call that. I mean it doesn't look bad but it's nothing to write home about. I like the way Browse blades, their satin is gorgeous, and I like the satin that's on um, a lot of the Spydercos, the Taichung Taiwan Spydercos. I really like that satin. This one isn't bad though, it's just not amazing. Uh, pocket clip design is pretty, pretty out there. Let's compare that to some other pocket clips and folders that I have out here. You can see the definite style that they were going for. This big, cur with a lot of curvature. And it's just not something I'm into. I don't like a weird looking pocket clip. And a lot of people on Hinder XM will get, uh, or the XM18, get those uh, Crusader pocket clips. Those uh, steel flame ones. And I don't like the looks of those. I think that makes it look goofy and 
ghetto kind of, but, you know, that's just me. Anyway, the pocket clip is tip up, tip down, right hand only. Keep that in mind. If you're a lefty, I would suggest you look as elsewhere. You can get a four-fingered grip on this knife. With that pinky just barely hanging on. And it's fairly ergonomic. I don't see any hot spots there, except whenever you go to flip it. This flipper is barely sharp, in my opinion. And a lot of times if I flip it like that, I can feel it kind of digging in. I mean, it's not terrible, but it's probably, it's really bad in my opinion. It wouldn't have taken a lot of work to, uh, you know, do what uh, Souther did here and contour it very nicely. And make it, you know, a dream to flip and make it comfortable. But Hinder XM18s have that problem also, in my opinion. They have very sharp flipper tabs also. And lock up. Just a tick of side to side play. No up and down play. Centering is off to the left side, not the right side, which most of the time when you see centering issues, you see that it's to the right side, and that's normally due to um, uh, the lock bar pushing the blade over. But this either, this has to do with tolerances right here. Poor tolerances, and that's why it's not centered. Not be able to fix it by trying to warp the handles. But, you know, that's something that you're going to get, you're going to see whenever you get into the $20, um, $20 price range. And that's what I see this knife as. I see this knife as a knife for people who are just getting into knives or they don't care about knives and they just want to have a, a user a user which I don't really prefer that term because I use all my knives I use the Sabenza as hard as I would use this Kershaw blur anyway I'm getting off topic there um, that's what this knife is great for if you are a knife enthusiast I would not suggest this knife I know too many knife enthusiasts who settle with buying a bunch of cheaper knives because they say, oh, I can't afford, you know, I can't afford a Sabenza, I can't afford Paramilitary 2, I can't afford any Benchmades. It's like, well, dude, just save up your money instead of buying $10, $20 knives, you know, instead of buying five $20 knives, buy a $200 knife and it will make a world of difference. So like I said, I would not recommend this knife if you are into uh, knives at all. If you're just getting into them, if you are looking, maybe you've been using a gas station knife your whole life and you think you might want to upgrade, I would suggest this one and I would hopefully, um, hopefully your tastes will get more expensive and you will upgrade. So that's my overview on the Kershaw Oh So Sweet. Hope you liked it. Follow me on Instagram, JW Knives. Uh, see some nice knife porn daily. Contact me if, if you want to get your knives uh, sharpened. This is a customer knife from a friend and a buddy. And you can check out my Facebook page and you'll see a bunch of videos there of how I want my edges to cut and uh, my standards before I send them back out to you what the knife needs to be able to do. So, uh, anyway, have a good day, guys. See you on the next one.